Clincho Avicensi arrived in the UK early in 1955 at the request of the LGS, the London Judo Society. Avicensi would soon become unhappy with the LGS and their approach to judo. Their reluctance to change to his philosophy of Kuchindo. In the short time that Sensi was with the LJS during 1955, he took part in the LJS Judo Championships at the Royal Albert Hall, London. He was invited to publicly demonstrate not only Judo, but other Budo arts, some which had never been seen in Britain before. Sensi demonstrated Aikido, which had never been seen or heard of before in the UK. The Aikido demonstration attracted a lot of attention, in particular from Ken Williams Sensi, a downgrade in Judo with the LJS. He was invited to be Abby Sensi's first student for Aikido in the UK. Williams Sensi had a small dojo behind the Hutt pub in Hillingdon, London, which he named the Abbey School of Budo, teaching Judo, Aikido, Kendo and Karate. The dojo was referred to simply and affectionately by all that trained there as the hut. I have never known a dojo that has such an atmosphere. Visitors often said they felt as if they could grab a handful of it and take it away. Fortunately for the future progress of British Budo, Kenshiro Abbey Sensei parted company with the LJS, joining with Matsuo Otani Sensei, a senior judoka, who had been established in the UK for many years. There were many loyal students that would follow Abbey Sensi. As the small group expanded, many new members were now flocking to join Abbey Sensi, not only in the UK, but also in Europe. At its peak, the BJC had a reputed 34,000 members. Bill Reeves Sensi, a senior judoka, would become Abbey Sensi's first personal aide. Bill was instrumental in the foundation of the BJC, the British Judo Council. Soon there would be a British Aikido Council headed by Ken Williams Sensei. British Kendo Council headed by Tommy Otani Sensei. A British Karate Council headed by Matsuki Harada Sensei. Ken Williams became the first personal student to Abbey Sensei for Aikido. He was made national coach for Aikido in the UK. William Sensi started with a small group of dedicated students. These students would eventually become the first and only downgrades or black belts for Aikido in the UK. David Williams, Eric Dollymore, Hayden Foster, Henry Ellis. The following downgrades were to become the next generation. Derek Eastman, Peter Dowden, Lenny Ballard, Hamish McFarlane, Andy Allen and Ralph Reynolds. Ralph Reynolds Sensi was the first downgrade for Aikido in the Midlands and spread Aikido through the Midlands and did a great service to Aikido. There were many great Budo masters who would visit the famous hut dojo. Kenshiro Abe Sensi, Matsutaro Tani Sensi, Masahile Nakazono Sensi, Masamichi Noro Sensi, TK Chiba Sensi, Matsuki Harada Sensi, H. Kobayashi Sensei. As they say, the rest is history, with a proud lineage and unforgettable memories. These photos are when we were traveling, Derek Eastman and I were traveling through the country teaching Aikido. We had to work. Nobody could afford to pay us, we talked for free. And as we traveled, we took any job we could which would involve road sweeping, factory labouring, building work, decorating, um, driving, photographers. It, we'd take work for a day or we'd work for a week. Sometimes when light time was very difficult, we would sleep in the car. But from that time, Aikido progressed. These photos now from summer school with Abi Sensi, Hamano Sensi, Nakazono Sensi. Sometimes when the weather was nice like this, we would practice outside in the open. Jerry Gingell with Les Hart, Nakazono Sensi. Derek Eastman, bottom left, with Jerry Gingell standing behind him and Ken Williams. 
Tommy Otani in the centre of the photo. Tommy was the national coach for Kendo. He's gone a bit over the top there by the look of it. A very handsome young Henry Ellis. Some people would go camping at summer school. These were some of the jobs and some of the girls that we met in our travels. Jerry Gingell, far left. Henry Ellis with a couple of uh, ladies at uh, summer school. The lady on the left is Margaret uh, Clark, a, a well-known judoka in the Clark family. Bill Woods with the hat. Bill was one heck of a character. The accommodation at summer school was like Stalag 17, the German prisoner war camp. But who cared? Plenty of practice, plenty of drink. This article was when uh, William Sensi moved to Wales. Um, these are the summer schools with Chiba Sensi. I took uh, Tamara Sensi and Nichimura Sensi to London, touring around London. It was the first time they'd been and they absolutely enjoyed it, as you can see. There's no photographs of me with them as I was taking the photographs. That's me with uh, Tada Sensi at the Bracknell Summer School. This was a letter from Kishimura Yoshiba, um, giving instructions to European Aikido. Abi Sensi at his home in Japan when he retired. The book Positive Aikido. Bill Woods Centre. Um, Bill was one of the greatest characters in British Budo. Nakazona Sensi at his home in Santa Fe, New Mexico, USA. Um, Derek and I at the uh, Japanese Embassy, Chiba Sensei at his celebration, Basin Stoke Dojo 1987, at the hut now with uh, Chiba Sensei as he revisited the hut in 2010. This was a great event, the Kensha Abbey Memorial event with all Budo arts being displayed the event was absolutely sold out and a great success. Henry Ellis teaching at the Kensha Abbey event. The Masahila Nakazono Sensi Memorial event in Wales. We were pleased to have uh, Jaro Nakazono, the son of Nakazono Sensei. Um, Kenshiro Abi Sensi with his uh, sister. The last three Aikido pioneers. And sadly we have lost several of the old Aikido people. Gone but not forgotten. The Royal Albert Hall where it all started.